Hi everybody, tonight I will show you how I did my horse. First I will cast on my machine with my yarn for 20 rows. I will cast on one in the front, one in the back for the first row. Make sure you have a little notebook close to you because you will have a lot of uh, numbers to keep in mind for this video. So I will crank it after, so I did. I will do my 20 rows. And when I'm done with the 20 rows, I will go and add another color and will add 10 rows of black. Bring that to the other tail of yarn, do a double knot, and then I will crank. Make sure you note all the numbers. So I will do the 10 black and then I will add 5 rows of waist yarn. Why waist yarn? It's to release it from the machine. Very easy. And after it will help to close the tube. There. You need four like this. Ta da! I'm fast, huh? <laughs> so I already closed one side and I forgot to show it on the video, but I will include a video in the video description of this video. Oof, that's a lot of video. And how to close, uh, five way to close tube, so you will be okay. So now I will attach those like I do a lot in other video I will do some mattress stitch so I will go grab two stitch on one side two stitch on the other side and I keep going on the same row all the time because if you go on another row it's gonna twist and you don't want that so I will continue like this there So you will need to do that four times. I know that it's not a perfect color for a horse, but <laughs> it is the color that I have left at home. At home, so <laughs> I don't want to go to store any anything just for yarn. I still have some here, but it's not the color that I want. So I will try to do the best I can with those. So this video, you will only need one machine. That's great, huh? So if you have a 40 or 44, 46 or 48, you will be just fine to do this horse. You could al also do a unicorn with this pattern. Just add the horn, not the horn, but yeah, the horn. I don't know. I don't remember. I attach it safely at the end. And then I will hide it in the two double layer after. Look, there. And I didn't close the bottom of my, uh, like I, I closed the, the black part, but it, it's still you could put your hand in it because my little girl like her toys like that. So if you want to close it, you will just have to do like I will do with the nose later on close it and stuff in it before you close it so this is the ears for the ears I did five rows of waist yarn 13 rows of green or aqua and then five rows of waist yarn I didn't show that on the machine custom the video was al almost two and a half hours so I I have cut a lot because you already seen how to close it like for the paw I, I, cl I close it like this too though. you didn't see it but I close it that way so I, I use a hook number five I go and grab two stitch both side and slip stitch to close it there you don't see it I'm not in the right angle but if you check the five ways to close tube on my channel you will see how to do it uh, I'm sure you will understand it there almost finished and then I will remove the waist yarn it's very important to use a contrasting contrasting yarn <laughs> well, 
because it's it's easier to reach the different stitches there so I did my row I close it pull and then I will remove the waist yarn this is for the ears so I will put that the opposite way like I did on the other side of this one so I will start this way and add my yarn usually I don't close my tube like that but this project I decided to do it like this and I put my tail inside so that way it won't bother me during my my, my crochet time I never, I never sure how to use it. Like me in French, we always say we crochet, or je crochet, je fais du crochet. But in English, do you say you hook or you do crochet? No, I'm not sure. It's a question. If you have an answer, put that in the comment. I will be more than happy to see an answer to my question. So I will continue like that for this side like I did on the other side the reason I do that is I want it to be like a, a rectangle because if you just use one machine you have to do a little bit of the tw a twist to shape that rectangle the way you want it to look like uh, ears so I was playing with it the other day I uh, remember that when I did the, the little doll the blue doll with the hood but this was uh, when I did that hood that the hairs came to me to say okay I will do that like this and then it will look like a ears so more thing I do more inspired I could get by myself because you see square and I'm, I'm going outside and I see square and I, oh it could be twisted like that I could <laughs> my head is always uh, burning with a lot of project in it so here was a little bit messy because I missed a stitch there so I will grab it like a, a Jacob la ladder you just grab it and go on top of it but you can't see it because the waist yarn is on my way <laughs> but sorry for that but I do have a little uh, not mistake but drop stitch once in a while so I do that too but I don't cut it because uh, uh, I'm sure you want to see it to be fixed too so next time it happened to you you won't panic you will see how oh, ju -ju -ju fix it I'm able to fix it too <laughs> so I will close it and then time to remove the waist the waist yarn is always like one side is very easy and the other one is a little bit tricky because you have to uh, oh, have some waist, not waist yarn but the drop stitch there but I will grab it with the, with the hook and I will be okay I'm not stressed with that always away and then I will close it with the slip stitch so this side is good I will just tie the knot and go on the other side so this is the part that when I cast on I it, it did a little knot so, so this side is when you start so you have to remove the first row if you could remove the first row it will be very easy to remove If you could do that without the waist yarn, it's up to you. Me, uh, when I do something just for myself, a lot of time I don't use waist yarn. It's only it's easier to show on video because our eyes is better than the video sometimes. <laughs> so if I don't use waist yarn, it will be not so easy to understand for the people who watch it. I have the drop stitch here mm -hmm. pick it up and then close it there so 
I will continue. Hmm. So you, I add your little tail and cut it. And you will add your rectangle to do your little ears. So you will need to do that same thing two times. So time to attach it together. So I will fold it in half and attach the bottom of it. I just go and grab every half stitch on both sides. So that way it prevent to be like all stuck and too chunky to attach on the horse after. So I will go that like this and again arrive here. I will do a little pull on it to tight the sewing and then I will go on the other side like this to join my starting point and attach those two tail together. So when it's done I will go and do a double knot. So that is the same action that I did when I do my little uh, comfort doll, the baby doll for the hood. I got inspired by myself when I did that. <laughs> So I create a, a triangle like this, put it flat, and I will go and just wrap half of the stitches till I reach the other side, the other hand. This, almost there. And you will see, it will <laughs> do a great, here's. I was looking for something to be able to create one teddy bear or horse on one machine and I did I find a way so you did the here so this part will go inside so it will look better and the neat side will go on the other side so it's time to sew the bottom and I will do the same thing just grab every two stitch and half of it till I get to the other side and you will see very cute ears. Pull on it a little bit just to make sure it's tight. There. Voila. Stuck there. <laughs> we'll have to cut it. It's okay. I just have to hide it in the two layer and I will be just fine. There. So I have my two ears. So it's time to do the head and body of my oars. For that I will cast on with my, my yarn. One in the back, one in the front for the first row. And then close the yarn feeder and crank. So I did need 90 rows of yarn. So time to cast off. So I will pull with my wool needle every stitch with the tip of my, my uh, needle. I will go between the two little red teeth and remove the stitches. Time to crank it a little bit. Very important to grab every stitch because you don't want to get a wet drop stitch. So take your time and you crank the machine to turn it. So make sure that the machine release the stitches when you do it. Crank it. Almost finished. So we already prepare the paws, the ears, the body and head. And unfortunately I forgot to do the nose. So the nose will be like very close to the end. Sorry for that. So time to, to stretch our work. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And we will do like when we do a hat. Just go and attach one side and you do the same thing on the other side. And right there is like when you do a double layer hat. So it's nothing very confusing or hard right here. There. So I put my hand in it to reach the other side. And then with the wool needle I will go and 
put that in the middle and do a double knot there I will count 20 rows put my needle there and I will go and grab every two stitch and I stay on the same rows same row till I reach my tail of yarn again so I go a little bit faster I have to stay on the same row so it will be the head of my horse so that way will be easier for you so sometimes people have problem to sew the head so the head is on you don't have to sew the head so two big peas will be together so that's better stuff it and then you pull on those two tail and you attach it be careful not to break your yarn you have to be tight but not too tight hide your little tail Ta -da. so you did your four paws your ears it's time to attach your paws you will go and reach the row number five you start from the uh, middle where you attach uh, the upper side of the legs and then you go and foregraft it so I grab one there one there one there so for the legs I always stay on the fifth rows so that way it's not crook it's not uh, it, uh, it's 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 straight so like this I will continue I will put that a little bit faster because I think you understand how to do it so attach it there and I will do a double there's a part that I miss on this video and you could fix that by yourself I won't do that um, I won't do the, the video again just because of it but I, I attach those two legs to on the the horse but I forgot to show how I did close the middle between the two legs I actually put the stuffing in it and I attach it with four stitch like I did like the right now for graft but I forgot to press the record button so sorry for that so you will see <laughs> it's already there hope it's not too confusing for you guys but it's a big deal that I already finished my video I work a lot on this one took me time but I'm not feeling that good lately so I do my best so pick on one side and grab on the other side like this and very important to pass through the neck so that way you're sure that your two arms are on the same height so it will look better at the end so time to hide my little tail Voila. so it's cute so the nose for the nose I did five ways 13 rows and five ways and I did this part is exactly like I, when I did the ears so don't be a uh, uh, scare but the closing will be different when I'm finished with the rectangle because I, I actually I did three three uh, rectangle the same the ears and the nose are the same uh, measure so that's great not too hard to remember I did that in purpose because I didn't have my notebook close to me so I went upstairs to grab it and then I, I decided to keep the three piece the same numbers Time to close it there. Voila. Remove the waist yarn. Always remove the little knot. And then you're able to remove the first rows of your cast on. After that will be easy to remove. So you will have your nose. So the nose is done. Check if you don't have any drop stitch. If you have, you have to fix it before you continue there I did I will fold it in half and then I will do the mattress stitch 
exactly like I did for the nose and uh, not the nose or ears but I will continue a different way for the nose so time to pull on it very cute the scenes look very good do a double knot here and you will do and grab every uh, I will need to close it here too I forgot so I grab every two stitch like this every two stitch and then I will pull on it to close the tube there there so you pull on it tight but not too tight you don't want to drop your yarn and if it's not tight enough you just go and redo the circle around it like this and then you pull on it and will tight so you want see through there cut it ah it's cute time to put some stuffing in it there a big nose <laughs> Go and wrap every two stitch and I will close the the bottom of the nose like this pull it if you see through it doesn't matter because you will put that on the horse like this so you can't see it now so don't worry for that and time to attach your nose on your head I will grab one stitch there and one stitch on the head and I will go around it like this take your time because you don't want it to be uh, all crook if you have some uh, stitch marker to attach your nose it could be a good idea too but me I never do that I never know where I put them <laughs> that's why so I continue almost finish I was not sure for the nose the decoration on it so if you don't like the way I did it on the picture don't worry put it on your way your way so time to attach those ears for the ears we'll just go in there and grab like I did for the nose I full graft it grab one stitch there one stitch on the ears and don't worry the the first one is always harder than the second one so never give up if you get struggle just put your work aside for a couple of minutes or, or hours and come back later sometimes work better with a fresh head <laughs> there so almost reach the top pull on my yarn after to tight the stitches because I always work loose and then I pull uh, I like to work loose because when you pull too tight it's hard to remove if you do a mistake so I do a lot of mistakes so <laughs> it's better for me to go very loose easy to fix so almost finished this ears you see I hold it with my hands but if you're more comfortable with the stitch marker to attach it take one there my little girl already steal this one for me <laughs> she said it's done mommy you take the picture you give it to me <laughs> she's cute there so I will cut the excess after I hide it in the head there so 
like this. I will continue. There. So both ears are on the horse now. Time to prepare our eyes. For the eyes, I take my needle, the flexible side, put that in the old and pass through the yarn in it. And I always use like a 30 centimeter of yarn and I attach my uh, button in the middle. So that way I have a lot of yarn to hide it in the back after. So I will go and take one side of my yarn and I will go with the other one and reach out in the same stitches on the back. So that way I could attach those two together at the end. Not now because I want it to be the same. I want it to be fixed first and then attach on the, on the back. So same thing. I got, I got one, one yarn on the back. I will go and get through the same exact stitch to, to get the other one. So my eyes are on the same level. It look good. So I will attach it, not too tight, but tight enough. And we go the same thing the other side and attach it. And those tail will be eyed in the head. Push the little knot so we won't see it after. Just a little bit, cut it. There. Voila! <laughs> oh, already cute like this. So time for the nose. Decoration. Yeah. Was not sure if I like it, but I did it. I did like a uh, G but on reverse side. So I prepare 15 centimeter of yarn to do the top of my horse. He's hair, but I don't know how to say it in English. I will say hair. <laughs> you know better, so I'm not sure you understand it. Actually, you see it, you know what it is. So I will attach it every stitches like this grab my hook and pull it and slip stitch. I will do that for the forehead and on the back of the head. And after that I will do a little tail, a braid one. So continue like that. Almost finished eh? Not too bad. If you have watched it like till he now, <laughs> can you uh, write a, a, I don't know, horse in the comment? Just horse or a smiley of, or a little, little horse. I don't know. Just something to let me know that you reach it to here. So I cut more, 15 centimeter. To do the back of the head. I will continue the same thing. I will go and do four rows like this. There, I skip one row and I will go and do the second one like this and then I will skip one row and do the third one. See, I skip one row and do third one, and then I will do the fourth one. Almost finished. I have to cut some more to finish it. There. Almost finished. There. 
<laughs> this part is done so a little bit of decoration for the belly button we we'll do hex and come back go on the top like this and go across and come back in the same exact stitch when stitch when you start do a double knot and hide it in the belly and this part will be just fine so if you want to stuff your paws you just have to finish it like you did with the nose to close it and you could put some uh, stuffing in it if you want if you want to leave it like this it's okay too so I will do the tail I prepare it it will be like 20 centimeter when it's attached like this cut the bottom brush it with my hands attach the top under the, my tripod and we'll do a little braid for the tail attach it tight there I cut it and we'll attach it on the bottom on the back there Attach it this side and on the other side. Have to be secure or two. So I go around it and attach it the braid on the horse. So I attach it there and grab in the tail. Grab it here. And grab in the tail till I reach the little tail of yarn that I start with so that way we'll be secure if the kids pull on it and voila it was the video for this week hope you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe if you don't already done it and if you have any suggestion, put that in the in the comment. I will happy to read it and answer it. So have a good day. Bye bye.